Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial series. We are studying Python data structure dictionary and this is our second video. In this video we will see some of the common operation which can be applied over a dictionary like deleting a key value pair from a dictionary, adding a key value pair to a dictionary, finding the length of the dictionary and performing membership test over a dictionary. Let's start. First dictionary operation to delete a key value pair from a dictionary. In the first cell, we have created a dictionary D3 having key 1, 2, 3 and key 1 and values as 20, 40, 60 and Python. Now you want to delete an element with a key 1. So you will give it a statement del keyword dictionary name D3 and in square bracket key. Click on the cell, run the cell. Key value pair is deleted. We check the status of D3. Now you have 20. 24360 key1 python if you want to delete an element with key key1 then the syntax will be del keyword d3 in square bracket the key in this case key is key1 click on the cell run the cell element is deleted successfully and if you check the status of d3 it is 240 if you again run this statement del d3 key1 it will throw an error because current status of d3 is 240360. If the key is not present then the deletion will not be performed it will throw an key error. Click on the cell run the cell you get a key error because key1 was not present. Adding a key value pair to a dictionary. You have already d3 is yes. click on the cell press escape a. We check the status of D3. How many elements did it contain? 2. 240 and 360. If you want to add a new element, syntax is name of the dictionary in the square bracket new key is equal to value. So we are adding a string with the key 10, key value pair. So check the status of D3. You have 240, 360 and key 10 with the value python duplication of values are allowed but duplication of keys are not allowed for example in the next case we have create added a key value pair key 4 with the value string python again this will run successfully keys will be different but the values will be same click on the cell run the cell Check the status of D3. You have two keys 10 and key 4 with the same value Python Python. Duplication of keys are not allowed. For example, if you are running this statement D3 in square bracket 10 is equal to 1020. Now you know that 10 is already present with the value Python. So the new value will override the previous value which was a string. So string will be replaced by tuple 1020. Click on the cell, run the cell, check the status of D3. You see the previous value was 10 was python and current value of 10 is the tuple 1020. Therefore you have with a key only a single element single key with a single element duplication of keys are not allowed we are creating a new key value pair d3 with a tuple as a key 1020 and inside it we have a dictionary as a value 10 python 20 python 3 30 python programming so for this key you have a value which is a dictionary click on the cell run the cell and print the value of t3 you get 1020 with the dictionary as its element keys of the dictionary cannot be mutable for example in this case tuple was a uh, immutable therefore the operation was performed successfully in if in case of a tuple it was a list d3 in square bracket a list 1020 and you assigned a dictionary to it again as this 1020 was mutable this operation will not 
be successful click on the cell run the cell type error unhashable type list list are not allowed check if you want to delete a complete dictionary syntax is del and dictionary name in this case we will run this statement in the last because we want to find out the length of the dictionary now dictionary d3 one two three four five elements therefore if you learn length of a dictionary d3 it will give you output as five membership test whether a given key is present in the dictionary d3 or not can be checked using membership test using in and not in operator we print the value of d3 it has one two three four five elements we are checking membership test okay we are performing membership test how it is performed key in d3 it will return a true or false where one is the key false now we will check whether 2 is in d3 or not it is true and if this case satisfy if expression then we will perform operation what we will do in this case I am printing the value only so d3 with the key 1 so value is accessed as d3 of 1 click on the cell run the cell you get okay 2 2 operation was 2 in d3 therefore here you require 2 you get the value pertaining to 2 2 is the key value is 40 we check it for 10 20 instead of writing the membership test in we can also check not in also 10 20 not in d3 then we can add in d3 with the key 10 20 add in d3 with the key 10 comma 20 uh, element which is to be added for example here is new tuple so it will first check whether the key is not present in the dictionary and then it will perform the operation of adding a new key value pair click on the cell run the cell output was nothing because this was returning a false so therefore d3 of 1020 is equal to new tuple will not be added to the dictionary press on escape a check the status of d3 and you will see that d3 has not changed see d3 has not changed because this written false now if you revert this condition if d3 is a 1020 is in d3 now the this group of statement will mean if this key is present this key will be replaced by a new value which is new tuple click on the cell run the cell and check the value of d3 now you can see for 1020 tuple you have a new value that is new tuple previously for 1020 you had the value 10 python 20 python 3 30 python programming okay we go back to deleting d3 deleting a complete dictionary press escape a print the value of d3 currently d3 contain 1 2 3 4 5 elements if we run delete d3 it will delete the dictionary press escape a and if you print d3 it will say that dictionary is not present that's it for today's video thank you thanks for watching do hit that subscribe button for more such technical content See you in the next video.